Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. An equality true for every value of the variable in it is called an identity. Now let us take an example to understand the definition. Consider the equality a plus 1 multiplied by a plus 2 gives us a square plus 3a plus 2. Now let us check whether it is an identity by putting certain values of a left hand side as well as right hand side and check whether they come to out to be equal. Let me take a equal to 0 and calculate the left hand side. It will be 0 plus 1, 0 plus 2 which is same as 1 into 2 that is equal to 2. Now let me substitute in the right hand side 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 2 which comes out to be 0 plus 0 plus 2 which is equal to 2. Hence we can see that for a equal to 0 left hand side is equal to right hand side. Let us check again let's take a is equal to minus 5 and substitute a equal to minus 5 in left hand side we get minus 5 plus 1 multiply by minus 5 plus 2 this gives us minus 4 multiply by minus 3 which is equal to 12 Similarly, let us substitute in right hand side, we get minus 5 whole square plus 3 into minus 5 plus 2 which comes out to be 12. You can check the same with any other number of our choice and find that left hand side is equal to right hand side and so we can see that such an equality such a equality which is true for every value of the variable in it is called an identity let me introduce you to some basic identities which we should mug up and those will be used in our next chapter first identity states that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Second, a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Third identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. And the fourth identity states that x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b times x plus a b. For all these identities, we may verify that for any value of a and for any value of b, the values of the two sides are equal. Let's start with example 11 first part. We have to find the square of 2x plus 3y. So firstly, 
let us see if we have any identity that can match with this expression we can see that we have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square that is our identity number 1 and for a we have 2x and instead of b we have 3y so using a as 2x and b as 3y we can write 2x plus 3y whole square is equal to 2x whole square plus 2 into 2x into 3y plus 3y whole square let's solve it further 2x whole square will give us 4x square plus 2 into 2x into 3y will give us 12xy plus 9y square which is the required answer so we can see that using the identity we can multiply the binomial very easily and in fewer steps now let us look at example 11 part 2 we have to find the square of 103 but we can see that 103 whole square can be done in two ways first method would be 103 whole square would be 103 multiply by 103 and then after multiplying we can write the answer another method is to use the identity and solve it we can write 103 whole square as 100 plus 3 whole square and now this is similar to the identity 1 a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square by applying the identity it would be very easy to solve 100 whole square plus 2 into 100 into 3 plus 3 whole square would give us 10000 plus 600 plus 9 and that would be 10609 so see how identities make the things easier